word processing. Word processing is basically a process uh, with which we can uh, create a new document, we can edit that document and so on, N number of operations we can perform on that word document. So, basic operations like basic word processing operations include editing and saving the files, using the clipboard, recognizing the user interface features, spell check and printing files. So, number of operations like we can uh, just uh, after creating that uh, document we can save it so that we can further uh, read or we can modify that file. Then we can copy the content on the clipboard. We can recognize number of uh, user interface features uh, like uh, on the ribbon there are several options like uh, for uh, giving the formatting to that document content as well as we can check the spellings, we can uh, print the files which are created with the help of that word. There are several objectives and skills for basic word processing concepts such as uh, creating a new document. I'll uh, enter, uh, enter the text, then delete, save, save as such kind of operation we can perform on it. Then using a basic edit features like cut, copy, paste, identifying the features like the toolbar, uh, toolbar icons, then a cursor, then using the dictionaries for uh, checking the spellings if any kind of errors are there, spelling errors are there, then operate print uh, such as print preview. So, basic word processing is uh, the use of the program running on a computer that allows users to create, edit, format and the and storing the documents. So, first of all, we will see how to create a document. So, the uh, very first step is to we have to start the Microsoft Word. Then after that Microsoft Word opens, we have to click on the file tab. Then we have to go to the new tab. Then Next is to click on the blank document. So, a new blank document appears on our screen. Then we can type a text whatever the text we want to insert in our document. So, the text you, we uh, type will be inserted in, uh, into our document. Next is how to edit a document. So, editing that means uh, if we are inserting any kind of text in that uh, document, we can make changes into uh, that content. So, editing a document that means making revisions to a document, focusing on the correcting errors, improving the accuracy of the language, rearranging the content, making uh, words, different words and sentences, uh, sentences clearing and more effective ways to make your content that will be easily understandable to the reader. Editing in a word processing that can include number of tasks uh, like adding a text, deleting a part of that text, we can copy the text, we can move that text, paste text to another place, we can check the grammar and spell the spellings, then we can also format the text. First of all, we see how to select the text into a word document. So, before editing a text, we need to select that particular text. So, this is also sometimes called as highlighting the text. So, for that, we need to click on the file explorer icon, go to the location where it stores your file or a folder, whether on your uh, hard drive, drive or your, on your USB drive. So, then, we have to open the document that we want to edit. Then we have to move the I beam pointer that is the I like uh, symbol is there to where we want to select the text. To select a word, we have to double click the, on that word. To select an entire line of the text, we have to move the I beam to the left of that line until it turns into a right pointing arrow. Then we have to click. Okay, That click we can perform with the help of our mouse. So to select a paragraph, we, we have to uh, triple click the paragraph to select any amount of text. We have to click and drag the I beam over the text to highlight it. Whatever the text we want to edit, we can just select that amount of text with the help of that pointer. So, to select an entire document, move the I beam to the left of any text until it turns into a right pointing arrow and then triple click or click the home tab under the editing option. And we have to just select, that is we have to click the select and then click select all. Then all the 
text on your document will be selected. Next, we will explore how to delete a text into your document. So, there are two methods basically. So, we will see the first method that is we have to select the text that we want to delete and we just simply need to press a delete key on your keyboard. Then method 2 is we have to just select that particular text and then move the I beam pointer to the text you, that we want to delete. Then click to set the insertion uh, pointer there and uh, that uh, particular blinking vertical line you can see in that image okay with the help of that we can select the text then to delete that selected text to the left of the insertion point we just have to press the backspace key on the keyboard okay uh, on the uh, mac keyboard that uh, we have to use the delete key for uh, deleting that particular uh, text so, to delete the text to the right of the insertion point, press the delete key on the keyboard. So, for deleting the left of the insertion point, we have to use the backspace key and for deleting the right of the insertion point, we have to press the delete key. Next, we will see how to copy and paste the content of that document. So, uh, there are two things that is copy versus cut. What exactly the copy is? It duplicates the selected item that is that can be a text, it can be a symbol, a table or any image while cut removes the selected item from its original position. Okay. So, with the help of this uh, copy action, there will be two or more copies of the same content while with this cut or action, we can just remove that particular content from one location to the another location. Copy and paste versus the cut and paste option. So, the copy and paste is basically duplicates the selected item. The selected item can be found in both the original as well as the new pasted location. So, that there can be multiple copies of the particular text when we use the copy and paste option. While in cut and paste, it duplicates the selected item, then deletes the original. The selected text can be found only at the new pasted location because it will get deleted permanently or from that particular place. Okay, We can just take that uh, text back or just revert back that operation with the help of undo and redo options are there on your uh, Microsoft Word. Next, we will see how to copy or cut paste a particular content in your word document. So, method one is we have to open the document that we want to edit. Then select the item we want to copy or cut. So, right click on the highlighted item and then click copy or cut. So, we can also use the keyboard shortcuts like for copying we can use the control plus C. On Mac a keyboard there is a CMD plus C option. And uh, for a cut action, we have to use the control plus X. While on Mac keyboard, there is option CMD plus X that we have to perform for copy and cut actions. And the position of the insertion point where we want to insert the item, we can just uh, go to that particular position. Then, then right click and just paste. There is there will be the paste uh, icon. We just have to click on that paste icon. So, we can also use the keyboard shortcuts like control V. Okay. Either we can use that paste icon or we can use the keyboard shortcuts like control plus V to paste the copied or cut content. Next method is to um, cut paste the particular uh, content from your document is the open the document that we want to edit. Then select the item we want to copy or cut. Then from the home tab at the top of your uh, ribbon, we can see there is a copy button. Okay, So, with that copy button or copy icon, we can copy the content in your uh, file. Then position the insertion point where we want to insert the item. So, we just need to place our pointer on, on our document where we want to paste that particular copied content. Under the home tab at the top, click the paste button. So, just um, below the cut option, there is the 
just right uh, left of the uh, cut and copy option there is a paste option then how can we review a particular document that means if we uh, have uh, designed a particular document we have uh, inserted some text if there are some uh, spelling or grammar mistakes so we need to review uh, that document so for that there is there are again two methods that is method one open the document that we want to edit the second step is right click a word that is underlined with a wavy line so in that particular image we can also see there is a spelling mistake in the word document okay the uh, the wrong spelling is that is d a c u m e n t okay instead of that there is a suggestion that is a right suggestion for the spelling correction is given that is a document okay so that we just need to um, say we need just need to find out which kind of uh, error or the spelling mistake is there in that particular document then we just have to click the review tab then spelling and grammar check that we have to perform for uh, finding out the spelling and grammar errors in, into your documents then method 2 is after opening that uh, document that we have we have to uh, edit so we just have to go to the review tab then click the editor button which is there on the uh, left hand side of the screen okay uh, just below the file you can see uh, if we have just click that editor button if the program finds the spelling errors and the spelling and grammar pane will appear there so click on the option from the suggestion list to change the spelling error okay it will gives you the option to find out the correct word for that particular content okay next we will see the find finding out the synonyms so again there are two methods for finding out the synonyms that means we can find out the similar words for the particular word in your document so method 1 is after opening the document we just have to right click on a word for which we want to find out the synonym then click the synonyms command from the pop out menu then it will gives you the option to finding out the synonyms for the particular word then we have to find a desired word in the list and click it to replace the original word so if none of the synonyms are desired so click the tejers uh, command to open the full tejers okay so this tejers is basically used to find out the similar words for that particular word in your document so find a desired word in the tejers pen uh, list the writer uh, right click it and then click the insert option then we have to just close that pen here we can see in the image there is a tejers pen in, into that we can find out the uh, word suppose in the in the left figure you can see the synonyms option okay synonyms option with the, with the help of which we can find out the similar uh, uh, word for the particular word as well as with the help of this tejers pen we can find out the similar word for the same word in the in your content then method 2 is open the document that is we want to edit select a word for which you we want to uh, find out the uh, tejers option so click the review tab then uh, tap then click the tejers button okay so for that again the similar words will appear on that pane after finding out the desired word we can just click on that word then the original word will get replaced with the new word okay we just have to click the insert button 